everybody. Tamara Brown, Mike Duso, back here with another edition of our off-season mailbag. You guys asked a ton of questions last week after our first mailbag. Got a ton of them here. We're going to knock through a pair of them, I believe. Mike, the first one is Evan M.E., and he says, what are our thoughts on free agents that the Patriots should sign? Well, that's a pretty broad question, <laughs> but I know that that's what's on everybody's mind right now is where as we're, I, uh, they're, they're, people are talking. I know. And every year. <laughs> lots of free agent options out there. Let's go right at the top. JC Jackson played on the restricted free agent tag last year. He's a free agent. Now a lot of discussion of the Patriots going to you know, tag him with the franchise tag. Hmm, maybe that's a lot of money. 17 mil, not a lot of cap space at this moment. I'm sure they could figure it out, but still, if you're going to pay somebody on that tag, it's going to take all that money. So I think if they don't re-sign JC, they've got to they've got to get at least another cornerback in. I know Pro Football Focus had Shavarius Ward over from Kansas City as you know a potential fit, um, but I think that that position group's been a little bit thin. So I think that's also a spot addressed heavily in the draft. Let's also look at the offensive line: left guard Ted Karras, right tackle Trent Brown. Two guys again. They came back last year on one-year deals. Had been here previous. What do you do with those spots? I know you got Michael and when you waiting in the wings, does he slide into a spot? So um, that's a place too, where you could see them maybe look out there, but somebody like Morgan Moses uh, from the jets who maybe a little bit undervalued, they could get a deal, but I think maybe bringing those two guys back makes sense. You know, those are two guys who fit well. Um, at the end of the day, guys who have been here know the system seem to like here. Maybe that makes the most sense. Mike, you touched on a few things that actually Jack wanted to know Jack was asking top priorities for Mac Jones. And obviously when you look at Mac Jones and who's surrounding him, the offensive line, the wide receivers, the running backs are all three areas that are going to be priorities, obviously for Mac Jones. And we saw a big difference once Trent Brown came back onto this team after being out for a few games with his injury. So to bring him back, to bring back on to bring back Ted Karras would be amazing. But when you look around with who's surrounding Mac Jones, you know, where are you really eyeballing? Yeah, you're totally right. Eyeballing. I mean, yeah, what am I looking at? I mean, you're right. Let's start with the protection. I think that's a great point. And, you know, we said right tackle, left guard. There's openings there right now. Um, I'd also just throw wide receiver in there. I know everybody wants to talk about wide receiver, um, but I think you look at Jacoby Myers, restricted free agent. He should be back. You do have your top three guys back. I know. I know everybody. You want that grade A weapon. I, I get it. Um, you're looking at Chris Godwin out there and, you know, that mm, that's a that's a big ask. Uh, but I do think that there are guys out there, maybe that if they're going to look for some veterans, Christian Kirk. Uh, Jamison Crowder a little over DJ Chark from Jacksonville uh, just some veteran guys not going to break the bank but that could come in and be complimentary I think the draft is the place to go at the receiver position that's all we've got today from this mailbag thank you Jack and Evan for submitting those questions if you're watching this please send us all of your burning off-season questions that you want answered maybe we'll choose yours next week in our next edition of our off-season mailbag thanks so much for watching